Staple Hair Care Company. But today we are actually going to be doing a custom corrective cut on my client here who kind of decided to go natural-ish. Um, just didn't work out the way we thought it would. <laughs> so um, after us doing a, a consultation and um, talking about it, we decided that her best bet was to stick with her relaxer. So what we're gonna do is um, go through and give her a plus cut because she has a lot of breakage. Um, and then we'll also talk about caring for her hair after the fact and what kind of led us up to this point, okay? So first things first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to thumbs up this live as you come in. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt my camera down to my client's hair here. So we have already gone through and did what we call a restorative relaxer. Um, let me just put this clip here. We did a restorative relaxer. Uh, she also actually wanted to get some highlights initially. And after us doing a consultation, looking at her hair, talking about her hair, talking about, you know, the things that she's doing, whatever the case may be, we got to the point where we said, you know what, it's kind of better that you stay with a relaxer because during her transition, her hair started to break off really, really bad. Um, especially right here in the nape area and right above the occipital bone and then it's going to start extending around to the front which it already did and it's breaking literally at that line of demarcation between her processed hair and her virgin hair that was not processed so we quickly made the decision to not highlight her just yet we went ahead and did a full restorative relaxer to her today and then going forward we're going to go um, one more relaxer, which is what we talked about. One more. Is that your, that's what you want? Okay, then you do something like this and just shave it down. Like, you tell me if you can or can't. We can do it on the next one. Okay. Let me see this picture. I'll just see, my clients be stressing all like that. Let me get this picture right here. So she just showed, I just saw, I was all nosy <laughs> in her phone, right? Because I shouldn't be in her phone. And I saw this picture and I'm like, is this what you want? She's like, oh, yeah, 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 we can do this today. You can. <laughs> No, no, we can't do it today because okay. I would have had to mold you oh, okay. and cut That's it down. So next relaxer, okay. since we're going to go one more relaxer. So our, our, our plan of action is that we went through and did a restorative relaxer today. We're going to start her off with a regular cut, trying to correct what we have. And then her next relaxer, which will be her retouch, which is week six to ten. Um, we'll do her retouch relaxer. I'll probably cut you down to that. Okay. And then we'll be able to start the process of highlighting her hair because we want to start getting her hair back to health first, then start doing things like color and all that good stuff. So for today, we're going to do what we call a custom cut um, and just try to clean it up as much possible. You never know. She might change her mind later on and be like, yeah, now nah, I changed my mind. I'm just going to keep my bob because um, that happens too. <laughs> All right, so I've already blow dried her. She's already been relaxed, blown out, all that good stuff. So now it is cut time, okay? So you have to put, take the volume off or you're gonna hear yourself as an echo. But you can um, read the questions, okay? My other client who's also from my YouTube, she's gonna moderate for me. Oh, so you want me to read your questions too? Yeah, anything related to what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so as you guys can tell in this area here, it is definitely broken. You get to watch your own video later. I, I definitely will. So if you guys can see my hand here, this will give you an idea of what's broken and what's not. It's kind of like going into the shape of a V. It's almost like an asymmetrical cut without even trying. So I'm going to kind of follow that direction because she does have longer hair in the front. And I will salvage what I can. Um, someone is asking what is a restorative relaxer so for clients who have been relaxed or they are relaxed and they just kind of skipped over one to two maybe three relaxers and their hair is now at the point where it's like a third of the way relaxed and a quarter of the way natural and we decide to go back the opposite direction that's what we call a restorative because I'm not doing a virgin relaxer more say i'm going through and i'm restoring what we didn't relax a restorative can also be for those people who they were doing their own relaxers at home and then they have under processed hair in between processed hair 
That's also another avenue for breakage. That is the easiest way to have breakage. This is why I don't recommend you guys doing relaxers at home. But the good thing is, I call everybody a pro now. So if you're a part of the elite hair care family, you are now considered to be an elite hair care pro. Why? Because you're using professional product made for professionals, but it's offered at cons for consumers or retail. So we're not sold in professional store only, which I don't want to be. Um, I rather teach my, my clients and, and consumers how to professionally take care of their hair. So that's why I'm going to start calling everybody a pro now. So now you're an elite hair care pro. You're welcome. Okay. So now you're a pro. Okay, good. So you guys know I used to call everybody a goddess, right? And I like the word goddess and everything, but I'm, I'm more going towards my purpose. And my purpose is as a professional to teach you how to be a professional for your own hair. So that's what we're going to kind of go with from here on. So you won't hear me using that word goddess as much anymore. It'll be you're an elite hair care pro now. Okay, so we, we pros. We do pro stuff. Pros don't let their hair get jacked up either. So I'm teaching my, my, my pros how to be even more of a pro. Yes. Valerie says, how much are you going to cut off? So what I'm going to do right now is because I, I can kind of see that there is a little too much texture in her hair for me to be able to see exactly um, the, the direction that I'm going, I'm just going to silk out the areas where it was really broken because those areas are is that I had to go through and kind of um, relax again on top of the areas that was un already not processed. So that's why I'm going to go ahead. If you guys can tell, like you see that frizziness and then it's nice and silky at the root. That's what I'm going to go through and just silk out so that we have an even playing ground all the way around and I don't have to overcut. That's the goal. When the hair is textured and you're trying to do a haircut, you can't necessarily see everything. And this is another reason why I tell people, those stylists who love to trim people when their hair is in its natural state, that's why you end up having to get a full-on haircut when you get a silk press because your hair looks like a piano with piano keys. It's black and white and zigzags and, and lines and you can't differentiate anything. So that's why I like to do my cuts when the hair is bone straight because that is a true cut and a true trim. I'm not doing it based on style. I'm doing it based on what the hair needs. Dolores Jones says, how can I get edge repair and the one for growing my hair back? How can you get edge repair? So we have our edge repair and regrowth kit on our website, if that's what you're meaning. Um, it's available at EliteHairCareUSA.com. All of our products are available at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Every last one of them. We also have some of our products on Amazon as well. So if you are an Amazon Prime um, client, you can also get our products on Amazon and they are Prime, Prime ready. What's the difference between a relaxed and texturized hair? So relaxed hair is typically bone straight. That means that the bond in the hair is 100% broken. So that hair is straight and it will not revert, okay? Texturized hair is the bond somewhat broken, but not 100%. So when you hear me say the word bond, bonds, for my pros now, you guys are pros, so these are the terms you're going to be using. The hair is made up of bonds, 100% bonds, okay? So if a bond is broken in the hair, the hair itself will go bone straight. If a bond is partially broken or kind of on the verge of breaking, meaning breaking, then the hair will still have somewhat texture to it. So that is what a texturizer is. It's literally just altering that bond. It's not breaking it 100%. But if a person that doesn't understand how to do a texturizer does the texturizer wrong, it can quickly become a relaxer in like a split second. So you have to go to someone that understands relaxing and texturizing and has that speed because texturizing requires a lot of speed. Anything else? Tamika Harris says, you do a great job. I've learned a lot about hair from you. Thank you, Tamika. So I hope that you are a part of the Elite Hair Care Pro Tribe, girl. I know a lot of you are like, wait a second, how do I become a pro? If you are a part of Elite Hair Care, you have purchased from Elite Hair Care, you watch my videos, 
you listen to the information that I give you, you are an elite hair care pro. That's it. It don't require nothing else. How do you get your natural hair to grow even? There's no such thing as growing even. <laughs> Let me explain that when I say grow even. The head is not flat. It's not a piece of paper where everything comes out of it and it is one place. The hair has different places. So it grows here, 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 and at every part of the head, there's a different level of um, elevation. So trying to say, how do you get it to grow even? It's never going to grow even because every part of your hair grows in different places. Now you can have an even cut at the end but it's still never going to grow even. It's not going to grow together. Different parts of the head also grow at different speeds. The part of the head that you do the most work to is typically going to be the part that grows the least, more say, and is more susceptible to damage. The part that you don't mess with is the part that typically grows the most. Um, Janet Mitchell says, will the parted thicken back up? Will the what? Parted. Will the parted thicken back up? What, what's a parted? Can you be a little more specific? It's a Janice. Janet Mitchell. Janet, I don't understand. I don't understand your question, my love. Next question. Um, uh, okay. I ordered quite a bit of product. Do you know when they are mailing the purchases from the big sale weekend? My orders still say placed. I can't wait to get done. To get done of them. To get them? Yeah. Okay, so if you guys paid attention at checkout, it says 10 to 14 business day processing time because we had over 2,000 orders, you guys. Okay? And we are a team of three. So we are working very, very hard to get everybody's orders out within a timely fashion before that 10 to 14 days. But that is also the reason why we bumped up the processing time. So once your order ships, you will receive an email notification at that moment. And we're not superficially shipping orders where you're just going to get a notification and all of a sudden you notice that order is not moving. A lot of businesses do that. No. When your order says it's shipped, it literally has left the warehouse. So just give us a little bit of time. Thank you for being very patient. But yes, the processing time is 10 to 14 business days on purpose because it was an entire week of sale. Okay, so here's someone that says, my orders were shipped today from last week. All right, girl. So they're going. Uh, Shirley Daniels asks, can your edges grow back? Most professionals say once your edges are gone, they won't grow back. No. So traction alopecia is actually the one form of alopecia that is 100% reversible as long as that area is not scarred once it becomes scarred that's another kind of conversation so if you start taking care of that area you stop doing what it is that you did to make it not so good for you then you will definitely be able to grow that area back but if you've been doing something to it and it's baby bald now typically that part won't come back but our edge repair is amazing for any type of hairline regrowth Edge Repair is the, is the one that we literally, it's like our hero product. That's what we call it. It's a hero product. Because that literally takes you from baby bald to edges. But if you are scarred, meaning that area is smooth glazed over, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will come back. Lisa L says, everyone, please close the chat, thumbs up the live, and come back. Yes, please. And Crystal thank you. Great info. Thank you. Yes, please go and do so. Now, I want you guys to look at her hair right now. I can't wait till you see this. You're not going to want a haircut, I promise. Okay, so if you guys look at this side versus this side, over here looks nice and sparse and split, but look what a haircut will literally do within seconds. Okay, so for all of you that are afraid of haircuts because, oh, I need to keep the length, not all length is length, you guys. Okay, if she had kept her length, she'd be bald by this time next year. And wondering why her hair still looks jacked up. And she went natural and she did all. I'm just telling the facts, okay? I'm just telling the truth. You guys don't have a I give hard truth, too. Hard truth, too. Some people need it. I'm good with it. Um, if the video comes in blurry sometimes, that is because I'm on Wi-Fi, you guys. And I'm recording live. 
So when you're on Wi-Fi and I don't control the Wi-Fi, it might not be the clearest all the time. Okay, so I'm sorry. It's not, it's not something that I can control. I would love to, but I can't. Uh, Tanisha Williams says, thank you for taking the time to inform us women on how to take care of our hair. You do an amazing job. Absolutely. Thank you for your compliment. I hope you're a part of our Elite Hair Care Pro team. Janet Mitchell says, and that's the one that didn't have the yes. a question about the party. She says, when you part the hair, it looks wide. Oh, when I part the hair, it looks wide. So that just means that she can be coarse, medium, or fine textured. So the, let me tell you how coarse, medium, and fine texture goes. It is the number of strands per square inch of every part of the head, right? So just because you can see it looking wide, that doesn't mean that she has damage. That's just the, the growth pattern of her hair, and that's the texture of her hair. So it can be coarse, and I can literally count the strands, right? If it's medium or fine, it's so many strands there that you can't necessarily count them. So that doesn't mean that it's damaged. That's just what God gave her and how she was born. Okay. Um, Jacqueline McKinney says, I have gray in my roots and henna color on the end. Mm. What are your recommendations to maintain my hair? Don't ever use henna again. I'm sorry. <laughs> henna is not um, hairstylist friendly. It does last long, but you're going to have to keep coloring because gray grows. Gray is not a color that you just woke up today and said, I want to be gray. It actually grows that way. That's showing maturity. That's genetics too. Okay? So you can't control gray growing. But if you're using henna, henna can also be very drying on the hair too. It can be very drying. So be careful. Like, you know, people will see it and say, oh, yeah, it lasts a lot longer. But that doesn't mean that it's good for you. It, it just, it's just color. Uh, another question is, if I want to put permanent color on relaxed hair, how should I take care of my hair so it won't break? Um, permanent color is a luxury service. That requires luxury care. So that's like if you have a nice car. You're not going to treat that nice car and go put any type of gas in there or drive it any kind of way you're going to take really good care of it you're going to make sure that it's washed on time you're going to make sure that you do your services on time put your hand under here for me so it's the same thing with hair color that's a luxury service okay so if you have a luxury service you need to treat it as such so you're going to care for your hair even better than you would have if you didn't have the color because that color is also going to make it nice and delicate so you want to make sure you keep up with that moisturize make sure you're strengthening giving it that good balance of moisture and strength and that's really it and don't over process it and continue coloring it prematurely make sure you're going to a stylist that knows what they're doing let's just put it that way some are saying that the video is blurry it's gonna be blurry you guys because i'm live so when i'm live i'm using the power of wi-fi and i can't control the blurriness right because I'm, I'm on wi-fi so it'll go in and out from time to time that's just that's just what we got you guys i'm sorry Jackie Randolph says, hey, Crystal, your products are the best. I love them all. Thank you. Alexa, stop. All right. So she's now cut. So you want to shake it? it says it's good. Yes, look at that. Okay, so I'm not going to cut in here too much because that area was already short. We're going to just allow that to kind of work with us as her hair grows out. We kept some length at the front. She can push it behind her ear. Thank the Lord, she has edges, so we don't have to worry about a lot of things. And she's just going to be able to just go. You can just go. So, you got a lot of I'm an Elite Hair Care Pro response. Yes, yes. Tons of them. Everybody is an Elite Hair Care Pro. Okay. Everyone is an Elite Hair Care Pro. As long as you are a part of the Elite Hair Care Tribe, you're using our products, you're following my instructions, because I know a lot of y'all don't listen. Okay, you're following my instructions. That makes you a part of the Elite Hair Care Pro Tribe. All right, so I just sprayed a little bit of gloss on her. Um, we are bringing back the Elite. I guess I, I, I'm not going to give y'all a name. I'm just going to leave the name alone. But we're going to bring back our Glossifier. I'm just going to say it that way. What were you going to say, my dear? 
Um, rocking with the truth says, my issue was my mom passed and I tried trimming my own ends. Mm. Now, now I go get my ends trimmed or cut by a preferred professional. So that wasn't a question, just a comment. Okay. Uh, you got a good afternoon watching from Guyana. Hey, Be Guyana. Beautiful. You're doing a good job. Bless. Thank you. Thank you, Guyana. Uh, good morning, Crystal from Pinkie Pie. Hey, Pinkie Pie. Thank you for all the sales. I shop them all. <laughs> her, her hair is beautiful. Thank you. And your customer now. God bless you for your guidance. Thank you. Uh, Patricia Sykes says, my hair is a little thin at the crown. What should I do to try to fix it? Is there a hairstyle I can get? Um, without actually seeing your hair, I would not be able to tell you if there's a hairstyle that you can get. Uh, and also kind of depends on why it's thin at the crown. Some people don't know that that's just what you got. Like my hair, my hair is fractured. I would consider my hair as thin. But at the same time, that's just my texture. That's not because it's damaged. That's just what I have. Uh, good morning, Crystal. The products I've ordered so far are amazing. I recently ordered the Elite Repair RX Super Protein. How often should I use it? Um, so, huh, okay, so if you're an Elite Hair Care Pro, here is my question for you. What is the analogy that I always use whenever I'm talking about how you use protein? And don't answer. Okay, I know, you, I know you know it, so don't answer. What is the analogy that I use? Only my pros would know this. So if you're an elite hair care pro, you're going to know this. What is the analogy that I use when I am telling you how to use protein? Thank you, Nelsie. We mm, Okay. Thank you, Nell, SR, Carolyn, Sharon, Lisa, okay, so how do we use protein? I'm gonna let my client answer y'all now. How do we use protein? What is the analogy? They typed it in there. Oh, they did? Mm-hmm. What is the analogy that I use when I say how to use our protein? Oh. Band-aid on the boo-boo. Oh, band-aid on the boo-boo, so. Okay, so if you have a boo-boo, mm -hmm. you put a band-aid on, right? Right. If you don't have a boo-boo, do you don't. still like to wear band-aids? No. If you don't have a cut, do you still like to wear band-aids? No. Is it style? Does it look good? We're not talking to Nelly times in life. We're talking about in real life. Would you wear a band-aid just because? No. Okay, so you don't use protein that way. Right. So protein is a band-aid on the boo-boo. You use it when you need it. Not every day. Not every week. Not every month. So oh. protein is used just like a band-aid because that's exactly what it is. It's a band-aid. It is helping to repair or strengthen the bonds that are shedding or breaking. It stops shedding and breaking within 20 minutes or less. Our protein does. Okay? So only a pro would know that. So if you're an elite hair care pro, whenever you hear me say how to use our protein, you use it like a Band-Aid on the boo-boo. You okay. only use it when you need it. We don't wear Band-Aids every day. Okay. We don't put a Band-Aid on next Thursday just because I'm planning on putting a Band-Aid on next Thursday, y'all. Uh-uh. <laughs> You only do it when the hair is telling you that it needs it. Okay. So let me ask my pros again. Another question. How often outside of having a boo-boo can you do a protein treatment? There is a certain time frame that you can do, and I'm not going to say a time. There are certain points that you can do a protein. For my relaxed people, you should know this. So my relaxed pros, you should know when to do this. For my natural pros, you should also know when to do this. Let's see who knows. As a natural, only when you need it. Okay, perfect. As a relaxed client, when should you do a protein? If you're a relaxed pro, when should you do a protein? 10 days after a relaxer, two to three weeks after a relaxer. Okay. So, Nell, Margie, Wendy, all of you are right. 
Protein should typically be done about two to three weeks after a relaxer, or it can be 10 days, it can be 14 days. So 14 to 21 days after a relaxer, you want to do a protein treatment. Okay, only my pros would know that. So if you are relaxed 10 to 21 days or 14 to 21 days, you want to do a protein treatment. See, a lot of professionals don't talk to you about protein treatments because technically it's only done in the salon. But because we are a pro line, but we offer retail product, I want you to be able to know how to do a protein treatment and when to do it because we have a protein treatment. You're not waiting until you go in the salon to do a protein. Not everybody wants to sit in everybody's chair. And I'm learning that. I'm learning that steadily, that not everybody wants to sit in everyone's chair. But for chemical services, you would never hear me tell you to do that at home, ever. But for things like protein, shampoos, conditioning, whatever the case may be, you can do that at home. That's okay. okay. Alethea Chambers says, I would like to become an elite hair care pro. What should I do? So, what's her name? Alethea. So let me explain to you how, becoming, how you become an elite hair care pro. About, if it's 330 of you on here, I say about 300 of you are already pros. You are my live, right? You're subscribed to my YouTube. You get pro training from a pro. Hey, y'all. Okay, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Yeah, right? You're using pro product, which is Elite Hair Care USA product. So that makes you a pro, an Elite Hair Care pro. If I can ask you, hey, what's the trim schedule? Hey, when should you do a pro team? And you can answer me and know the answer with confidence, you're a pro. Peaches Bowman says, I cannot find your products. Elite Hair Care USA, Peaches. Now I want y'all to see. Y'all see this? Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. She ain't going to want no haircut again. I promise y'all. Liam <laughs> uh, Pompey says, hi, my hair is so dry. Can you please tell me what to use? Thank you. I have natural hair. If you're natural, I'm going to highly recommend our Moist Me 24 Karat Deep Conditioning Mask, the Moist Me Shampoo and Conditioner, and then we will soon have a Moist Me Leave-In Conditioner. I said Moist Me. Moist Repair. <laughs> moist Repair. I was like, this is Moist Me. Moist Repair Shampoo Conditioner, and then we'll soon have the Leave-In Conditioner. All right. Can y'all see this? Can you see this clear? Beautiful. Okay. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. So who says she had to get a full haircut and take all her hair away? Okay. It's beautiful. You, are you ready to see it? Yes. Can you feel it or are you ready to see it? I'm ready to see it. Okay. Uh, J. Marie 617 says, what flat iron do you use? I use H2 Pro. The Black Diamond Collection. H2 Pro. Is that good? It's amazing. Right, so so y'all can see where she's at. Took down for me. So we used her weakness and made it a strength. The world don't have to know that her hair was breaking off. I mean, y'all know. You, you get what I'm saying, okay. You guys don't have to know that she had that. All you know is she just got fixed. Yes. <laughs> I should be on grandpa here. You should. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm going to have you tilt all the way forward for me. Let me clean up your neck. So she is actually all done. So I want to see something. Let's see. If you're an elite hair care pro, I want you to put some fire emojis or a one in the chat. If you're an elite hair care pro, put some fire emojis or a one in the chat. Also, for you to be a pro, you have to be subscribed to our mailing list, which is our email mailing list on our website. Okay, that comes as a part of it. Pros have everything. Pros don't have a piece. They have everything. They got email. They got all that. You're on my YouTube. You do all that. Someone says, what spray do you use? For what? I guess the hair spray. So this is Sebastian Shaper. Oh, let me see. It's called Sebastian Shaper Plus. And then I'm using our Goddess Polish, which is not available right now, but it will be. That is a glossifier. A little goes a very long way. 
it's infused with jojoba oil um and that's all i use i don't really do anything else i'm real simplistic when it comes to hair you guys i'm a firm believer and it doesn't take a lot you just got to be consistent All right. We got so many compliments on her hair. Thank you, guys. All right, pros. So she's now going to be rocking her hair at night. Hello? Yes. Yo. Uh, 2300 East Cimarron. I'm right next to Fuddruckers. It not... Put, put Hobby Lobby, because it's not a carrier here, so put, put Hobby Lobby and then you come around in the plaza. Okay. All right. You ready? It's time to go. So I will see you in a couple weeks. So do it for what? Three weeks or two? Three. Three weeks? Okay. That'll put you, I say, beginning January. And just do a basic wash and... Wash and protein. Okay. So you'll see it says super weeks. protein. Okay. Two to three weeks. But two weeks for her will probably run into Christmas. So that's why I said she can come January. Oh, okay. So we open No, we're not. Okay. All right, my pros. So if you're already on my live and you haven't already subscribed to our mailing list, if you haven't already followed me on IG, then you need to go and do so so that you can get all the pro alerts and you're not missing anything. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.